when do we all think the next Scooby-Doo series is going to be and possibly what it'll be? Next year. It has to be next year. Yeah. There's there's not enough time now in the year to do it. Do we think it's going to be just another series of Scooby-Doo and Guess Who? Or do no. we think they're going to have something original? I think they're going to go back to the original roots. So mm. instead of guest stars, they're going to go back to normal mystery solving. Yeah. But hopefully it might do it like around the world where they just tr- keep travelling, but Ooh. it's a continuation. Well, do we think that the new series of Scooby will be before or after the Velma series premieres? Because they could I be holding off think... to not overlap too much. I think they're going to see Velma as been an independent series. That comes out next year. Yeah. The Velma one, but I suppose to. What about Mystery Pups? When's that? That's like 2024, isn't it? Yeah, that's... that's God, we still got another two years for that. <laughs> so the target audience for that movie, or for that series, may not even be born yet. How cute is do that? Do you think that they will do something new in 2023 when they've got two projects? upcoming knowing one and no but then i can't see them not i can't see them not doing it mm. i know it's curious and it'll be good to see what does happen it's like how long is a piece of string in it like <laughs> isn't there like a genuine thing though that people can map at least recently the amount of years between series like not like for like put name scooby doing 13 ghosts but i think there was uh, like there were two seasons of what's new and then a gap, then Mystery Incorporated for two seasons, then a gap, and then guess who? And now we're in that same gap stage that I would assume that the times between the other ones were kind of similar so that we can almost predict when we do another one. I just don't know when that would be. See, I'd kind of disagree with you in a little bit in that I think Scooby's breaking its pattern at the minute. Like, there was a pattern of two Scooby-Doo movies a year, and this one, they've scrapped, this year they've scrapped Holiday Haunt, and had to drop trick or treat out of nowhere like it was just announced one day like hey everyone just so you know we may have cancelled this that means this is now happening kind of thing like i genuinely believe that without holiday haunt being cancelled trick or treat wouldn't be coming when it is it would still be coming because it was obviously there to drop but i think the release times would look different but we've also broken that two scooby-doo movies a year because we're definitely only going to get one this year there isn't time for two so I think Scooby could be kind of altering its time parameters and stuff, and we could be seeing something a bit different. We know that the Velma series is coming, and we know Mystery Pups is too. Mystery Pups is meant to come out, I think we said 2024. So that means that realistically, will they want to do something when they've only got a year to do it? Maybe not a new concept, which would mean a third series of And Guess Who, if anything. I think next year we get the crypto movie in terms of movies and I think I think we get Holiday Haunt next year. That's a, maybe that's a bit it. optimistic, but I think we get it next year for next Christmas. But I don't know. Shows I have no clue though. Yeah. I think it will take someone wiser than me to predict to predict something like that. Maybe that person said me. Hey. Uh, no, not really. I think I agree with Millie with the idea that the series it's at that sort of point where it's stuck is where to go. Um, obviously, we know that the next series coming out is Valma, which, you know, very controversial. Um, I think probably to plan maybe Crypto was meant to come out earlier this year. And obviously it got pushed back. But um, was it the other week there was leaked um, screenshots of some of the scenery in it with um, Scooby and Shaggy. Um, mm-hmm. That means it's coming soon so i would predict like early next year like march maybe yeah i don't think scooby knows what's going on because we knew about (laughs) trick or treat like a year ago at this point didn't we wasn't there like a whole schedule of like one upcoming warner brothers things and then like on the bottom it's just a trick or treat scooby do with like the guess who art style i think this is the thing i feel like they're making products and they're just going to release them when they feel like it's the right time to just drop something. Like, from speaking to people and just from what we're witnessing as well, it seems very much like Warner Brothers almost have a catalogue. And it's just kind of sometimes a little bit like, oh, let's just put this one out, as opposed to this is what we're running with, this is when it's going to be finished, this is when it's going to be edited, and this is the release date. It's, let's create this. Then it's on the shelf, and then one day we'll pick it off the shelf and drop it onto a DVD. It's kind of my thoughts. 
I think oh, they only chucked out maybe trick or treat Scooby Doo because um, I think that was one of the rumors going around um, or theories that that was the end of Guess Who now, and then like the movie will be like the final wrap up of the Guess Who style mm. because obviously the crypto movie goes back to the um, 2010 director video which we've been having for the past ten or so years. So new era, anyway. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. That's the one kind of factor that really plays into when they release things is the art style. Because like you said, this is going to be in the uh, Guess Who art style. And so they kind of have to fit it in. And then it's like, do they keep it and then have to release another series to keep it relevant? Or do they release a movie that's in a different art style? And obviously they can do that with Scoob and they could have done that with Scoob Holiday Haunt because that's a different existence of its own. I don't know. I feel like that's the only thing kind of binding them into anything. Yeah. And we don't know if there's like a special guest in Trick or Treat yet. And in fact, when will we know? Because it's as of recording this, it's meant to come out tomorrow. So can we literally watch it at midnight or is it going to be like a US like time zone there? You know. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I'm just waiting for the DVD. So. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So if it if it comes out at midnight, that's not good for me and for work and for having to get up at six o'clock tomorrow. Oh, really? At all. But <laughs> we'll see what happens with that because I feel like if it is out at midnight, you can just wake me up and we'll watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can, like, power now. Yeah, why not? Camp out by the laptop. Hey. I mean, I presume it would be the fourth when it is the 4th, whenever you are on the 4th of October. We are, yeah, the 4th of October, yeah. <laughs> I had to think about it then. One of the few benefits of being in the UK and the Scooby-Doo community at once. Well, that's the if thing. that happens, we could get it Ooh, six hours this is like crossing over, <laughs> but ahead. We and now I'm feeling get... like I need to power nap, like, now. <laughs> well, the thing is, there's people, obviously, in America that, are, that are often get sponsored and they get sent, like, free DVDs. And that's awesome, right? I think they get it a good five, maybe more, less days early. But always, when you pre-order on Amazon in the UK, you, you always get it the same day that the early release people get it in America, I've found. Yeah, At least over here. Yeah, a couple of things where it almost, like, came across to people, like, it was sponsored because we either got the DVD early or, like, with when they launched Mario Kart Home Circuit, I was arrived two days early. Like, like the software wasn't release. even out. Yeah, so we yeah, got to like, do a couple of videos, but... Yeah, mm. the past two Scooby movies I've actually ordered from eBay, and they've been a good few days before the release date, so that's what I'm hoping to do this time round. So that would be amazing. So. Yeah, that would be awesome. And really, there's no reason for them not to, because you could just go and see it somewhere else, so... It shouldn't have, like, this huge kind of secrecy and hold on it. There was something where we managed to get the new Spider-Man movie to days early i think least. it was more like two three like four days early like just our, in morrison's yeah i was like local supermarket just had it on the shelf like i think the order had arrived some new person had put it out so we saw it picked it up and was like oh great let's get this and then we went to shops like hmv and they didn't have it and we're looking out for it for the next few days and nowhere else had had it and we've wow. been sat watching it and it's oh my gosh this is amazing 